spirulina is one of the hottest health food diet supplements on the market and it is now the object of an investigation by the state health department as claude man reports the department is looking into charges of widespread fraud high protein high vitamin diet supplement and reducing aid made from plankton the blue green algae most of which is imported from mexico or japan is expensive and in very short supply it sells retail at six to eight dollars per hundred tablets and the 60 to 70 firms now marketing spirulina in the united states have a combined gross of 30 to 50 million dollars the health department says there's evidence some firms may be diluting the spirulina with cheaper substances such as alfalfa Though this would not present a health or safety problem, it could constitute major fraud. And the department is now running tests at its Emeryville lab. An allegation has been made by a firm, and it's been uh, shown to have uh, validity through certain types of private uh, laboratory tests. And we're committed to determine whether or not these uh, analysis and the misrepresentation that was uh, told to us are true. The initial complaints came from the Proteus Corporation, which markets Earthrise spirulina. Their market figures showed far more spirulina is being sold than is available in the country. So Proteus hired independent test labs to analyze various brands. They say more than half the 30 samples tested were inaccurately labeled. We believe that approximately two-thirds of the companies are putting out a product which has 70% or less than what the label claims. The health department's test will be completed within the next few months. If the suspicions of fraud are verified, legal action against the companies involved will be taken before the end of the year. This is Claude Mann in Emeryville for the 10 o'clock news. Eyewitness News reporter Rolando Santos explains. Susanna Bowen uses and sells a health product, Spirulina. She says most users don't know that they're getting ripped off by many brands that contain fillers like alfalfa or even ground insects. To protect herself and her customers, she sells only brands that have been tested and certified pure. Spirulina is actually ground algae. It's a popular diet supplement because it's supposed to be high in protein. Its popularity has led to shelves filled with dozens of brands and imitators. Many of these, according to health experts, are falsely claiming to be pure. The makers of Earthwise got so worried about impurities in their competitor's product that they had an independent lab run tests on 30 brands. The results were astounding. That the spirulina itself is severely cut, adulterated, or not present at all. These were some of those found to contain the least amount of spirulina. One brand in particular, Bioenergy, claims to be 100% pure, yet the report says it doesn't contain any spirulina at all. Company officials were unavailable for comment this afternoon. I just talked to officials here at the State Health Department who tell me that they're aware of the questions surrounding spirulina, and in fact, they're conducting their own tests on the product, but they haven't got the test results back, and there will be no action taken until they do. Health officer Carl Costella candidly admits if there is any false advertising, the companies are in deep trouble. If there is an uh, adulterated product being offered for sale to the public, we will then pursue legal action, district attorney or attorney general. Neither Costella nor any of the experts we talk to feel the additives are a danger to the public health, but they're angry because the labels are misleading and ripping the public off because they don't get what they pay for. In Berkeley, I'm Rolando Santos, Channel 5 Eyewitness News. Investigators say there's no real way for the average customer to tell if a brand is pure, so the best thing to do is to ask the store owner to show you the purity tests on the brand you're buying. Jack, it was about a year ago that we first told you about spirulina, and very few food supplements have enjoyed the success that spirulina has. It's become a multi-million dollar business in less than a year. It started selling like hotcakes just about a year ago after the National Enquirer called it a safe new diet pill. It's a source of protein made from algae, and Consumer Alert has just learned that one spirulina maker claims some of its competitors are selling what may be phony spirulina, and it's apparently very easy to fool consumers. As up to a year ago, most people didn't know what spirulina was. They look and they see little green tablets. And if they find tablets that look small and green, they probably think it's spirulina. Henriksen's company ran independent laboratory tests on a number of spirulina tablets marketed by different companies. The findings show a lot of consumers may not be getting 100% spirulina. We found that the label said 100% spirulina or 500 milligrams per tablet. And we looked at the tablet and then had it 
looked at in the laboratory, we found that simply there wasn't that much spirulina in, in the tablet. With how many different brands? Well, we must have looked at maybe 30 to 40 brands, and over half of them contained a significantly less amount of spirulina than that label had claimed. Well, the Food and Drug Administration is now doing a full-scale investigation of spirulina. There is no standard at this time for spirulina. Responsible companies, though, will not claim that it is a revolutionary diet aid. Instead, they just point out that it is a source of protein. And they're asking that the FDA set standards for the product so that customers get what they pay for.